Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Move, Chewy. Move. Move. Oh, my God. I tell him to move, and he just rolls over and looks at me. Okay, well, he moved, technically. All right, well, everybody come on in and have a seat then. Hi, Mo. Give me messages for Leo. All right, and I do apologize, you guys, for being MIA, kind of tying up some loose ends. Also, I did post in a community chat. Um, if you've been trying to book an appointment with me and my schedule does not actually uh, work well with you, I do have some extended hours from now until uh, the 12th. Okay, so I'm open 7 a.m. to 12 a.m., uh, Monday through Sunday for about a week and a half or so, whatever. And, uh, yeah. So, and then after that, it goes back to the reg regular schedule program. All right. So, let's see. If you want to book, go ahead and do so in the Notero, 1122.com. All right. So, let's see. Get into messages. All right. So, Leo, we have a goal-oriented person. That could be you. Or as you know, it could be somebody else. But anyway, we're going to keep it moving. Give me messages for Leo, please. And thank you. What do we need to know? What is coming up towards Leo? Oh. All right. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Uh, dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Could be dogs, apparently. Mine decide. Every last one of them decide to be close to me this morning. So... Yeah, I don't know. That's my dog. All right, let's see. Give me messages for Leo. What do we need to know? Give me three more for Leo, please, and thank you. Most important messages for Leo, please, and thank you. General messages, one more. Thank you. Persevere and you'll overcome any problems. Oh, God. Here we go. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. I don't know why, but I looked at that and got one person in mind. Period of prosperity and abundance here. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Okay. Leo, here we go with the shenanigans. All right. So let's see what is going on with this goal-oriented person. That is probably us doing our thing. Leo on the bottom of the deck with the sun here. All right. There's that, trying to make this money and money and money. All right, money moves here as well. There's some type of abundance that is coming towards you because you are actually putting in effort, making things happen here, okay? All right, so let's see. What's going on here? Also, I figure that if you're dealing with an arrogant, boastful person... Here, it does look like you're going to be getting out of this situation here with this person as well. All right, give me messages for goal-oriented person. Things balancing out for you. All right, some of you might be learning something new, uh, taking a class or something here that could actually bring you some more money here. Also, someone here might be a little bit concerned about their finances it does look like you need to be inventive here okay creative all right create opportunities for money here as well also you got some good news coming in here a brand new beginning i like this and this is coming after walking away from something toxic all right so let's see give me messages leo on the bottom of the deck standing in your element here with the queen of wands a go-getter pursuer okay making it happen standing in your element like i said taking charge all right give me messages here look at this all right also keeping things to yourself not really letting anybody in on what it is that you're doing because it ain't their business right there's that. Looks like you got a situation where you're able to save money or you're needing to here while things balance out for you. Oh, look at this. You could be partnering with someone here as well. Some of you might actually have some type of connection coming towards you. Give me messages here, please. And thank you for goal-oriented person. Oh, 
rest is over with. Now it's time to get to work. I work. Go on, Leo. Go on, Leo. Do your thing. All right. All right. Strength and tenacity. Look at this. I love it. Love it. Love it, Leo. On grind time, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, so our old cycle is closing out. Definitely new beginnings happening here. Give me messages here. Leo, you need to save your money during this period. Give me messages, please, and thank you. Only spend on what you need. All right, wish fulfillment coming through. Also, I see that if there's money issues or whatever, sweetheart, definitely recovering, okay? Finances are healing. Look like you got some wish fulfillment, some, some success coming here for you. And like I said, the will of fortune is actually turning in your favor. There could definitely be some travel here as well. A lot of success happening for you. So, Leo, you're being told to go ahead and take this leap of faith. Do what you need to do. Possibly move on from a situation here as well. So before I was so rudely interrupted, there's a lot of success coming here for you. A lot of healing with your finances here as well. All right. There's some communication coming in. Something that you want to hear. Uh, this is wish fulfillment. Possibly something that you've been waiting on. Maybe an opportunity coming here for you as well. Give me messages here, please. And thank you. This is a long time coming. Also, for some of you, you may have a person that is actually coming towards you here, okay? It does look like you do have a period of prosperity coming in. There is some celebration. I did see that in um, the cards as I was shuffling. It does look like you have successful outcome to your problem, whatever this is. Here, sweetheart, this is possibly regarding your finances, okay? So you're definitely manifesting money here. Is there anything else unstoppable here, sweetheart, okay? Once you put your mind to it, look at this. Ace of Wands, Five of Cups is actually hidden over here on the Five of Cups. Now, for some of you, you might have felt like you missed an opportunity here, all right? And this might have to do with money. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups, look at this. Page of Cups. Leo, I like this, okay? All right, so there's definitely a decision being made here. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. I love it. Some good news coming in. It may start off small, but trust me, this is actually going to be the beginning of something new for you, okay? Also, like I said, some of you may be taking classes, learning something new, all right? And this may be another opportunity for you. Look at this. Uh-uh. All right, there's some type of regret here. I'm starting to get another story, and I don't want to pull this. This is about someone, a goal-oriented person that is coming towards you. It's been taking a minute. Somebody's trying to heal a connection with you. Mm. Somebody's in some type of regret here. All right, anywho, give me messages here. Somebody's willing. Uh, somebody may feel that you're going to reject an offer from them. This is somebody that's feeling rejected. Give me one more, please, and thank you. All right, others of you, yes, honey, look at this. We got the lovers and the two of cups here. What is this? Somebody's recognizing that... What do you want? What does this person want with Leo? To apologize. Somebody wants to apologize and heal a connection here. Why? Because they did some shady-ish. Okay, so anyway, moving on. For some of you, this is a lover. For some of you, this is somebody that you used to work with at a job or something like this. Either way it goes, it does look like you're leaving this situation behind. Give me two for the final... I was going to say the final destination. Oh, my God. The outcome of this situation. Ooh, look at this. Some of you may have a jealous boss here or somebody that's broke. Ooh, yeah. Somebody here is a little bitter. For some of you, this is a boss. Okay, anyway. 
Moving on. Oh my gosh. Give me one more. This is somebody that wants to get back into your good graces here, sweetheart. And it does look like you're leaving this person alone. Out in the cold, your best bet is to leave this person alone. Continue to grow, continue to flourish, continue to work on yourself. Manifest the great things that are coming into your life here, sweetheart. You got someone that is a hindrance. Somebody here, somebody here could have been dealing with somebody on the job that's trying to keep you. Why am I hearing sequestered? That's a word that I don't ever use. Okay, that's like keeping a jury under wraps. Ooh. You may know something about someone or a supervisor or something like that that you were dealing with here. Some of you may have written a letter to HR about this person. You know, their shenanigans, their treatments of others. I don't know. This is also somebody that's going through some financial issues, too. I don't know. Either way it goes, we're moving on from this person, okay? Leo, you got some good things coming for you. You got an offer coming in here, a brand new beginning, and it's it looks really good. You got somebody else that's coming towards you that wants to apologize here, too. And it is long overdue. I don't know. Karma might be hitting somebody. All right, so anyway, period of prosperity, we have that. All right, persevere and you'll overcome some financial issues or whatever this is here. All right, so give me messages about this arrogant person. messages about this arrogant person you should not cross seems to me that this is somebody vindictive possibly talks a lot too any messages about this person matter of fact you know, be careful of people that are trying to get close to you so they can get information from you or about you, what you got going on, or whatever. All right, some of you may have a stalker. Give me messages about this arrogant person you shouldn't cross. Uh, sexual. For some of you, this person may feel that they know some secrets about your sex life or whatever. They may have other people watching you as well. Good grief. All right. Somebody may want to make you a proposition here. <laughs> you got a weirdo that is targeting you, Leo. Why do we always get these people? All right. Somebody wants to humiliate you possibly about something about your sex life. All right. Weirdo here that's giving you the evil eye. Or this could be somebody that you were actually intimate with before. All right, let's see. A user. Okay, let's see. Stagnation. Somebody wants to slow something down for you. Also, whatever this person has been planning for you has been slowed down. All right, let's see. This is a vagabond here. This is somebody. Oops. Okay, so for some of you, this is a Libra. This person may have um, things saved. All right, this person may have taken pictures, um, may have old photos, videos, emails, whatever it is, um, confessions or whatever it is, but I'm going to put it to you like this. If you're not doing shit like effing with kids and animals and things like that, it's just sex. Get over it and grow the hell up. You understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. And I showed you gang stalking earlier. This person possibly has other people watching you online, okay? This is someone that is a user, all right? And then one of the things that I notice about certain people is that they will try to find other supply and triangulate you with other people to try to make you look, you know, look some type of way or 
compare you with the other person. It's triangulation. They try to boost up the, the uh, new person's head, try to make them, you know, oh, you're better than this person and this person is this and this person is that. See, I don't have to deal with that with you and blah, blah, blah. It's a bunch of BS. You understand? As soon as that person gets uh, finished using that other person, they're going to do the same thing to them. You understand? And sometimes people go back and forth uh, with the same people triangulating them, okay? So whatever this is, somebody's got some information on you that they think that the world would, you know, really <gasps> gasp about or whatever. But like I said, there's only so much stuff that you can actually do. So there's that. And what people also need to realize is that and when you're playing with other people's lives and things like that, you know, be prepared for the, the consequences and repercussions Someone here also has secrets and things like that. You understand? But we got the receipts. It is what it is. You understand? It's really weird that somebody would really care that much about what you got going on in your life. All right. So anyway, somebody's got a problem with you. But what do we do? Let them have it. That's their problem. We let them have it. Give me messages about this weirdo. Oh, snap. Dang, it said you wanted to know. We're going to tell you. All right, Leo, they're definitely targeting you here. For sure, for sure. For some of you, you could have another Leo here. Somebody's mother, or this could be the mother or father of your children. Uh, somebody's mother may be also keeping tabs on you here as well. Somebody could have recruited their mother, baby mama, or whatever. There also might be a Capricorn involved here that's keeping tabs on you. All right, someone here might try to offer you some sort of uh, form of flattery or whatever to try to, you know, get you to say certain things or get you to react or whatever to get you to get your guard down, let your guard down. Somebody's mother is involved in this situation. All right, so someone here could also be trying to, to oh, Lord, see, this is where we go to. All right, so this person could be dealing with another Leo. All right, and this person also, yeah, there's gossip going on about you too. And there's somebody here when love turns to hate. So in other words, somebody here has a real issue with you, all right? Also, somebody here could be in a relationship with someone else, but for whatever reason, this person knows about you. And they're watching you, stalking you and things like this. This person has a target on your back. Like I was saying in another reading, it's really weird that, um, I don't think I posted that one. It's really weird how, you know, some people, they can get fixated on an ex or somebody else that they used to mess with or something like that. And they gather the people to talk about this person, to stalk this person, to harass this person. But then after a while, you really have to ask. Why are you so fixated on this person, especially somebody that's not fixated on you? What is your problem with this person? Do you really want to be with this person? Did this person hurt your poor little ego or, you know, what, what happened? Or are you just mad because somebody just walked away and is able to close the door and not look back? You living your best life with somebody else here. And, you know, Leo, you doing your own thing, but you got somebody here that can't move on that is fixated. And this person really wants to cause some type of damage in your life, okay? Well, what we're going to do with that energy is we're about to do a return to sender, okay? And how about that? Whatever you have planned for me, it will, be, it will become your Tower of Babylon, all right? The Tower will fall. Absolutely. Okay, so this is really a trip. Give me more messages about this situation. Someone here could possibly want to know if you're actually in a relationship here as well. And if you are, that someone here may want to, you know, expose some things to your new partner. This is really weird. Give me five more for this situation, please, and thank you. Give me flyers, please, not flippers. Friends with benefits, friendly vibes. Look at this. This could have been somebody that you had friends with benefits with. All right, let's see. There's a cancer involved here as well. Somebody could have children with, with these people. 
All right, intuitive. You might already know that these people, what they're planning, that they're working together, who they are. All right, look at this transformation. All right, one of the things is here is that the, what's bothering them is because you are not bothered about neither one of these people. Somebody could literally be like a cancer, destruction, malice, disease, wherever they go. All right. Oops, okay. Someone here could actually have cancer. And what they fail to realize is it's because they're doing all this other stuff. All right, so somebody is literally calling disease on themselves with their actions. Just nastiness, ugly, destructive. And it's false, divine, masculine, divine, feminine. And it is a duo that is sending you negative energy here. Somebody could actually be married. All right, someone here tries to, you know, play nice. Someone here tries to act like they're their friends when they're actually your foe here, sweetheart. This is an enemy, all right? And you got a Trojan horse here, all right? So somebody here, somebody could be a witch or a warlock too. Somebody here actually tries to deliberately set you up, all right? And then, okay, so one of these people are behind the scenes doing dirt, telling the other person what to do how to get your reaction, how to get in good with you. And the other person here is playing like they're friendly, a friend. Look at this. Okay, so but what it is is that this person may not know that you know this already. All right, so what do we do? We send the troops. Absolutely, we send the troops. All right, so any other things about these people here, please, and thank you. Give me flyers. Give me more information about these two people. Or three. A liar. Somebody is targeting you. <laughs> Somebody is telling lies about you behind your back here, sweetheart. And this is crazy because liar actually targeted um landed over here on you somebody's playing the victim here somebody is lying about the outcome of the situation these two are working together you have two or three people that are working together this is a scorned lover this is somebody that you don't want to be bothered with and this is also possibly because this person possibly did some dirt and they're old enough to know better all right so for some of you, this is an older person. This person could be, you know, about my age, a little bit older. This person could also be older than you, all right? But somebody here is playing the victim, possibly because you got a new love. And also this person is looking into your life to see if you are in a new connection here. New friend, look at this. New friend, interference from friends. Look at this. All right, so this person, like I said, may have sent someone towards you, divine, uh, false, divine, masculine, divine, uh, false, divine, feminine here as well. People are weird that way. You would think, no, nah, this person wouldn't do that. Yeah, they would. Okay, because it's unfathomable. Okay, yeah, I won't say that word again, but it's unthinkable, okay? This person possibly feels like nobody would ever put this and this together. But when you're dealing with low-life individuals who have small minds, immature, you understand, still in the adolescent phase, never really grew up, cut the apron strings or whatever, this is what you expect from children, all right? This is really weird because now I'm getting a picture of somebody literally two people in the corner actually three people in the corner yeah let's <laughs> you understand what i'm saying childish as hell so this is what is happening here and also oh my gosh oh lord oh my god why am i getting this these two people could have two people that they want to hurt and they sent each other towards each other's people I don't know. Any way it goes, somebody's playing the victim here and they are lying on you, trying to gather other people. So in other words, if this person is targeting you and lying on you, they have to be trying to get other people to come against you. Isn't that weird? Interference from friends. Look at this. All right. And new friends. So somebody new is coming into your life. Look at this. A friend. 
cannot make it up. Somebody's friend is keeping tabs on this situation or somebody's friend is keeping tabs on you. Also, some of you might have a so-called friend that's involved with these people here as well. Give me messages here, please, and thank you. The apologizer, someone here. Yeah, okay, why? Mental. We know these people have mental issues at high levels. Okay, something, something's wrong. Somebody done stirred the pot. Somebody done dropped their baby when they were little and didn't tell Potink Tink. And yeah, this is what we're left with to deal with this mess. Look at this. Okay, so somebody's got some mental issues here. All right, so what we're not getting ready to do is let them bleed over here. All right, that was a good catch. Sponsor. Ooh, okay. A trio. I told you it might be more than this. It's three people together. Look at this. Look at this. All right, and then also somebody might be getting paid here to do stuff to you. What this person doesn't know, or they might know now, that everything that is going on in their life, and there's some stuff going on here. This person is reaping karma behind somebody else's mess. Why would you allow somebody else to pull you in somebody else's BS? Don't you have enough stuff going on? Hmm. All right, so let's see <laughs> what else is going on. Interference from lovers. Look at this, and it lands over here on friends. There's a lover here that recruited a friend to come after you here, sweetheart. This person has friends that are actually bombarding you, harassing you. What's done in the dark is about to come to the light, though. All right, somebody could have been dealing with somebody that has domestic violence issues or whatever. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Friends with benefits. This is somebody that you were tripping. You were... Um, dealing with all right dishonesty here look at this online being targeted you're currently being watched look at this this is a trip uh let's see what is it what is, what is <laughs> oh god we got a user here there this person could have also recruited somebody to come in and use you for money try to get you, you know, they know that you got some money going on, some good things going on in your life. And this person could have recruited this, some of these other people to try to come against you. Move to see if they can get some money. Move, uh, Chewy. Chewy, move. Get, don't raise your leg. Get out. Go. Go on. Move. Sorry, you guys. Alright, so let's see. What do I want? Tell me what you bought. What you really, really bought. I know what I want. Just where are you? Right here in my face. In my face. Let's see. Uh, and I don't know why I'm hearing this song. How you like it, Daddy? Can't sing that song. All right, so. Dang, this could also be somebody that's promiscuous, too, all over the place. Or either this person's trying to paint you out to be somebody that's promiscuous. All right, so let's see. Give me messages about these people. <laughs> what is going on with these weirdos? These people have no life. And maybe they're mad because you have one that does not consist of or revolve around them. Give me messages for this people's. People are so weird. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my washing machine in the background. So let's see. Give me messages regarding these people. Blood suckers, the users, okay? Depriving you uh, at your own expense. Okay, so this person, look at this, a smooth talker. Deceptive words, a trick. This is a user that came in here. Thirst trap, I need attention. Look at this. All right, so somebody feels like, you know what, you would just fall for anything and everybody. All right, that you don't see these people coming or whatever. You may have used this person for whatever it is that you need it for. 
There's that. Somebody wants to block your finances here. All right. Somebody might have some underlying health issues that have not been diagnosed. Maybe they're hiding it from others here as well. And like I said, somebody here may not know it, but they might have cancer. All right. There's a smooth talker. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to tell you one thing. People are going to learn to stay out of other people's mess when you're recruiting other people. Someone here could literally have some money problems and health issues and not understand that it's because you have actually adhered yourself with a negative entity that calls themselves trying to use somebody else. But what's happening is everybody that is attached to this one particular person gets pulled into this energy. All right. Darkness begets darkness. Okay. All right. Let's see. Somebody here also, my goodness, somebody could have had it going on. This might have worked for a minute, but it looks like this is coming to an end. There could be a divorce here. You could have divorced uh, from this person. Or maybe this person has gone through some type of breakup or will go through some type of breakup. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Somebody here possibly gets with people for money, too. Let's see. Give me messages. This smooth talker might look good on the outside, but this person, this person is actually rotten on the inside. They actually may have some attitude problems, health issues, and things like this, but they dress well. Look very nice and appealing on the outside, but then somebody here is a true user, and they actually have a very dark demeanor on the inside. Very vindictive, very uh, deceptive here as well. And this person possibly does a lot of dirt to other people and thinking that they're going to get away with it. But not realizing that the calamities that are happening in their life is because of this energy. All right. What goes around comes around Ponzi scheme. These two people could have been somebody could have actually paid somebody to come towards you here, sweetheart. All right. To try to manipulate you and things like that. OK, to see what they can get. Also, this person came in to get money to break your heart and to try to discredit you as well. Somebody is bitter as hell. Somebody here could be a drug addict. All right. Substance abuser here. All right. There's that. And also, this is a bitter peer for bitter peer. This is a bitter peer. This is a bitter pill for someone to swallow that you want nothing to do with them, okay? This person also is very reckless in their life here. Um, they endanger, endanger to themselves. So somebody does not really give a damn about themselves. Regardless of how they look, how they speak, how they carry themselves, this person is very reckless in their life. Um, the decisions that they make, the energy that they carry, and also possibly very promiscuous here in their life here as well. So this person, my gosh, who is this? This person also possibly married somebody or one of these people married somebody for money. All right. Now, the trippy thing is, is that the karma, karma might be kicking somebody's behind in here and now they want out. But guess what? Now they're in too deep. Karma has spoken. Somebody was given a chance to leave this situation alone, but they did not. So guess what? Tap, 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 that ass. I'm just saying. All right. Give me more messages about this situation. You cut ties with this person. For sure, for sure. This is somebody that you were in a connection with. All right. Somebody is trying to intimidate you, sweetheart. We don't intimidate. We don't get intimidated here, sweetheart, okay? Also, you have somebody in here that was actually trying to gaslight you here, sweetheart, okay? You may have picked up on this, okay? You may have actually dealt with this person for a little while to see what you, everything that you could find out. There's that. All right, give me messages here, please, and thank you. <laughs> oh, that is funny as hell. Like telling this person one thing and telling the other person another thing and watching those two scramble. <laughs> I'm just saying somebody's got behavioral issues or whatever. Somebody's possibly got some anger issues here as well. Uh, they might try to keep it cool, but 
Uh, you hit a nerve and this person will actually lash out. They'll show you exactly who they are. This energy cannot hide who they are, sweetheart, okay? They're used to drama. They're used to acting out. They try to play it cool, but the eyes always tell. The eyes and the demeanor. This person may not say anything, but those micro expressions tell you everything that you need to know. And this person may not realize that you're watching everything that they do and everything they say and everything that they don't say. All right. And some of you may be playing the ends against the middle. OK, knowing that these two idiots are linked up and they got another um, flunky involved in this, too. That's actually possibly behind the scenes. Both of these people are literally watching, but you have someone here that is supposed to be the mastermind, the one that does the paperwork and the one that, you know, watches supposed to be the smart one of it. All right. Possibly the techie here, the one that knows how to, you know, hack into devices and things like that. OK. Posting things and fake fake profiles and stuff like that. OK, I'm just saying somebody here possibly felt like you were really naive when it comes to, you know, love relationships and things like that. And they may have felt like you were inexperienced and overly romantic. OK. Possibly true. But God didn't raise no fools either. He gave you discernment and also the wisdom to actually discern these spirits here. You understand? Checking out that energy. <laughs> it is what it is. If something feels off, it is. Very much so. All right. So there's that. You got somebody here that cannot stop this as well. They are actually addicted to taunting you or trying to harass you trying to hurt you or whatever it is here all right and what i feel here leo is that somebody's got a big plan brewing but i don't think it's going to work out the way that they had hoped all right so anywho moving on let's see give me more messages about these idiots that is really crazy do you i mean the ruler of your life literally Allows, look, I'm just saying, it just really behooves me how people can really just really go for this negative energy and just sit in it and work in it and just work with it. And it's like your ruler and master does not save you from anything. You're you're doing all, all this drama, all this chaos and not even getting rewarded for it. Your life is shit. It's crazy. Come on over to the other side. It feels much better over here. <laughs> Come out of that dark energy. I'm just saying. You don't want to be a hater no more. My gosh. That's crazy. Give me messages. Just because somebody doesn't want to be with you. They can't stand that you. I'm sorry. They can't stand that you got it made. Why, why are they watching? searching you have the drive and motivation that they are looking for fake friends since the beginning yeah that's that friend that came in here sweetheart okay also some of you may have a friend or family member that's working with these people too all right so let's see you are about to be showered with prosperity. You might be seeing the angel number 1212. We already have a period of abundance and prosperity. All right. Give me messages. What people don't know, they keep coming up against you and they're helping you, you know. All right. Damage. They have major holes in their aura, you think. Clout chaser. They will do anything to get some sort of attention. Absolutely. We see that already. All right, fate, you are their karma. Do what you need to do what you gotta do, right? Absolutely. Boy, 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 don't let me send some prayers up here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Leave people alone. They're in their head because they feel like you want up them. How? You're just moving on with your life. Possibly because it's, you've seen this coming and possibly told this person, you know, I know what you're doing. I know your whole plan here, which you thought you got away with, you won't. All right, 999, the end of a cycle is coming to an end. Absolutely. Look at this. 
<sighs> An old friend of me is still pressed over some old fuck shit. Not my problem, boo. Absolutely. It sure is not. Somebody's mad. I wouldn't be surprised if you got an ex-friend or somebody that, you know, you so-called called a friend and this person possibly linked up with your ex. I wouldn't doubt it. Let's see. Give me messages. <laughs> a musty bitch is leeching on your energy. Wow, I know who that is. <laughs> that is funny. You possibly got your ex's new person that's trying to copy everything that you do, sweetheart, okay? I'm just saying, if you guys have a platform, all of a sudden, guess what? This person's got a platform or whatever. If you're a reader, guess what? This person's possibly trying to read, too. You understand? There's that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is funny. Anyway, that is funny. So somebody trying to leech off of your energy here, sweetheart. A scam artist. They take advantage of weaknesses. Yeah, this person is used to, whoever this is that's targeting you is used to dealing with people who are less than. You understand? People that they can manipulate here. You understand? It's not you, baby. Conversation starter. They, oh, they always need to check up on you for new ideas. See, I told you. Look at this. You do have somebody that is watching everything that you do. You will continue to thrive on these haters, absolutely, because we serve the most high and not this dark-ass energy, right? I'm sorry. The tower. Expect the unexpected. So, something's about to come to the light. Anything else? Salty trying to get a reaction from you and your attention. Look at that. Some people say bad attention is better than no attention at all. Death threats. Look at this. Possibly this person could be threatening to, to harm you, especially this, this musty heifer right here. You understand what I'm saying? This is somebody that's really pissed off at you. Why? Possibly because their person pays too much attention to you. You understand, like I said about that triangulation, you may have an ex that is constantly talking about you to their new person, okay? To these other people and whoever they hired, possibly hired to come against you here, sweetheart, whoever they are working with is now salty too because you, you, you know the original plan. And that person got caught up in some BS behind some money. Now you you got this other person that's really salty because you possibly made this person look like the idiot that they are. They're a flunky. You understand? They follow behind this other person, not realizing that, man, you just opened up a whole nother can of worms. You also already had stuff possibly going on in your life. And then you follow this idiot here. You understand? And then their karma just bleeds all over into your life. So now somebody's pissed off when they need to really take a step back and look at their actions and figure out not only what they're doing, but who they're trying to do it to. You understand? Somebody is shook. They're acting unbothered. The truth is they are shaking. They should be. You know, like I know, they should be. Because like I said, we're sending that right back. A hundredfold. Hmm. All right, being extra, they try to compete by doing the most. They can't keep up. Why? Because this is no competition, sweetheart. You are just doing you. All right, trying to one up you. Look at this. Causing chaos and fights in your love connection. This is what this person is trying to do. Somebody is trying to block your money, drop, uh, block your love situation. Somebody wants you down, depressed, disappointed, and just sad. How about no? Absolutely not. All right, 1010, you are surrounded by unconditional love, and that's all we need, honey. The people in our lives that we know that love and care for us and will protect us. You understand? There's that. So, like I always ask, God, please put a protective hedge around us. All right, protect us from our enemies and expose them for who they are, their intentions, and those that are working with them. And bless their heart. <laughs> All right, anyway, Leo, we already heard about them. This is really funny. It is, but it's not. It's kind of pathetic in a way. What is this pleasure with a close friend?
Leo, I think some of you guys are going to find out about this person. Let's see. What is disappointment in a love of a friend? Oh, this is some news that's coming this, that has been out. Uh-huh. What did I say? Something gets exposed. Some lies, some secrets here. Something that was hidden. This person was involved, manipulating, trying to cause a tower in your life. But they get reckless. Mm-hmm. This could be somebody that's getting information from you and feeding it to the enemy. Look at this. The Judas in your camp here, sweetheart. But everything comes to light. There could be a Cancer involved here. A Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Let's see. Pisces. Give me messages here, please, and thank you. Look at this. Uh-huh. Look at this. Somebody was working against you here, sweetheart, trying to bring you burdens, and now they got to come in and apologize. You have cut this person off. Why? Come from amongst them. Source is already giving you the down low on these people, okay? There's that, Leo. Mm -mm. I shall not be stopped. I shall not be moved. Have absolutely not. All right? Look at this. Me and the Most High. Mm -hmm. Withdrawing from this situation. Absolutely, because somebody here was reckless, especially with their mouth here. You might have actually realized that this person was really gossiping about you as well. And also, if this person knows anything about your personal business, this person was giving it up like, a, a, what do they call it, a stool pigeon back in the day or whatever. This person's just sitting up there just tweet, 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 tweet. And this person here has some issues with you. This is going to cause some great disappointment, but you know what? That's quite all right, sweetheart. Let source expose everybody that needs to go. There's that. Let the Tower of Babylon fall. Nothing but confusion, drama, chaos. Mm -mm. And some of these people think they are better than God. Look at this. Absolutely not. Persevere and you'll overcome. How? Because the truth is about to be revealed. You got a brand new beginning here, sweetheart. Honored by the Most High. Opened up by the Most High. All right? Sometimes you got to do this solo. That's quite all right. Put your feelings on the shelf, sweetheart. Close your arms and two legs and roll your two eyes and say, you know what? I have everything that I need right now going towards my wish fulfillment and leaving all this chaos and drama in the past. All these people that were trying to work against you and they're working together, which is crazy. What they fail to realize is that, sweetheart, you're unstoppable in this situation. Why? Because you got the most high working for you, clearing the way. You understand? Plowing the fields, getting the wood, getting rid of the weeds. You understand? There's that. But I actually see... You going towards your wish fulfillment, I see happy family. Someone here could be purchasing a home here. I see a spouse coming in for you and a brand new beginning when it comes to your money. Look at this. Somebody's reckless here. Mm -hmm. Now they're feeling some type of way. That's quite all right, sweetheart. You're going to move away from these people and, and allow a source to bring in a new circle here, okay? Right about now, it might not be time for friends and things like that. It's time for your immediate family. Get to work and manifest this new beginning, all right? Don't be scared. I'm just saying, you've been through enough, but battle wounds and all, we moving. Moving on. Good news coming in. Look at this. Somebody might want to actually give you some type of money here, too. Four of Wands is here. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. An end of a cycle. Look at this. Give me messages coming in here, please, and thank you. Well, somebody meant for your highest, went for your downfall, ended up being for your highest good, sweetheart. Somebody tried to stop you. But nope. We dig in, dig our heels in, and get to work, do what we need to do, okay? For this future. Leaving things behind. You could actually be traveling here as well. But I see a lot of abundance, a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of healing, a lot of partnerships, healthy partnerships here. Okay, a lot of success. Um, whatever it is that they were trying to stop here, sweetheart, is unstoppable. Like I said, this person, if you ever seen somebody push somebody on the swing, 
it starts off slow. And the more you push that person, the higher that they elevate. That's exactly what these people are doing with this negative energy that they're sending towards you, sweetheart. They're giving you that momentum to keep going. First of all, with Leos, we don't quit. We take the lead. We do what we need to do to get over and, and, and achieve. You understand what I'm saying? Some of us are overachievers. I'm just saying there's that. You know what I mean? So when the face of adversity, this person is trying to get you to sit down, sweetheart, we don't sit down. We bring out the, call, the claws and the paws. It is what it is. It's fight time. So they got the wrong one, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. So either way it goes, whatever this, whoever this friend is, they're not a friend, they're a frenemy. And this person has been an enemy from the get-go, like it said. You understand? So there's that. And you're going to find this out, sweetheart. And then also I think you're going to find out exactly how this person really feels. Tell me how you really feel. Not that you give a damn, but it is what it is. But, Leo, I think I am going to go ahead and leave it here. Let's see. This person that is trying to come against you, what is their problem? What is their problem? I love you so much. It's consuming me. I know it's unhealthy. Look at this. So uh, you have somebody that still has feelings for you. This is a very immature individual. Okay. I don't give a damn who they say, who they tell that they don't care about you. The problem is, is that this person possibly fumbled the bag, fumbled the Leo. You understand? Screwed up here, played around too much, possibly being promiscuous and all this other stuff. And you said, you know what? I'm good. I don't know. I don't want to deal with this. And then also this person may have outside children that you don't know about. This person was doing all kinds of stuff. All right. Um, this person feels like it's difficult to communicate with you. They don't feel understood. Um, this person, this person's got some issues, okay? They don't know how to communicate as an adult, a mature adult. This Percy, per Percy, <laughs> somebody's name could be Percy. I don't know. And why am I hearing Percival? Okay, so some of y'all might be like me. You're like into, you know, King Arthur and all that other stuff, you know, um, really love that type of stuff, war movies and things like that. Um, I don't know. Somebody's name could be Percy, though. But anyway, this person, is, they have some obsessive patterns here. All right. This is also possibly the type of person that goes against a lot of their exes and people in their life, you know, very vindictive. And usually this person might actually win some. But now this person really realizes that or they should realize they're not battling you, sweetheart. They're battling the most high and they will not win. OK, the thing is, is that source is going to allow you to see certain things um, because, first of all, they want you to break this tie that you have with this person. You possibly already have, but there's no coming back from this. OK, source is about to expose this person for who they are and whose they are. OK, you know that you're a king's kid. Fix your crown. Your, your crown. You understand what I'm saying? And do what you need to do. Stay prayed up. Do whatever it is you need to do to keep yourself protected, all right? Because someone is about to be exposed. Someone's. Hmm. And if this doesn't come to the light about everything that's going on about all three of them, you will hear about what's going on in their life. All right. My jealousy gets out of control when it comes to you. See, look at that. This person isn't only jealous of the people that you may be with. You're dating and things like this. This person is jealous of you. All right. So there's that. Somebody is having some financial issues here as well. Maybe this is another thing. This person possibly left you broke with kids and things like that. And uh, yeah, look at this. I'm focusing on my business and progress in life to put too much energy in this connection. So now they got they recruited other people to do what they can't do. I'm distracted by many options. I have opportunities around me. You possibly already do a bunch of thoughts and hood rats and 
things like that. You understand? So I don't know. Like I said, somebody is very promiscuous here and someone wants you to think that they're not concentrating on you, sweetheart, but they really are. They really are. And they have recruited people here as, as well. I want you to be available when I'm not. So this person wants to see you single. Like I said, they're trying to stop everything in your life. They want they want to stop your money. They want to stop your love life. They want you to give up on love and your success, whatever that is for you. Just living your life in peace. This person wants you to give up, okay? Look at this. Don't force me to love you. I will run. So you possibly have tried to get this situation together with this person. And just like, you know what? I need me a grown-ass woman or a grown man. I don't have time for these games. I'm not getting ready to run and chase you, sweetheart, if you want to run. Matter of fact, hey, there's an open field. Have at it. What we're not getting ready to do is chase people. Either you're here and you're going to treat me like I deserve to be treated, or either you move on and let somebody else deal with your madness, okay? All right, it says I'm cheating on you and have been doing it for some time. So this is possibly why you and this person are not together. And nine times out of ten, they're possibly recruiting people that they have cheated on um, you, you with to hate on you, okay? It's really weird. You may have somebody that just, like I said, you know, they're going to the new person or even recycling an old person. You know, Leo, they so-and-so and so-and-so. Look at Leo. You know, you're better than the Leo, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? You got some weirdos that do stuff like that. Trust me, Okay. So anyway, Leo, this is what I got. Started off with a bunch of drama, but please know that you are definitely getting through this situation. Money's looking good, all right? Your friend circles and everything is changing here. I just heard changing of the guard, all right? So there is a need to protect yourself. The people that are around you, like I said, God is walking before you. God has got your six and you know what I'm saying? Your ancestors got your flank. So you are well protected. Just make some wise decisions when it comes to allowing these people into your life. All right. And also, like I always tell you, check your friend circle because some of those people that are smiling with you. Their intent is not pure. All right. Listen to how people talk, especially people from your past and things like that. Listen to the things that they say. You understand? Some of these people are really pissed off because you don't deal with them at all anymore. And they know why, but they try to make themselves like the victim. You understand what I'm saying? Don't fall for it, okay? If you came from amongst these people, you did it for a reason. I would say keep it pushing, sweetheart. Don't look back what's behind you. Keep pushing forward. Keep moving north, all right? All right, sweetheart. I'll holler at y'all in a little bit, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.